What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Today, I'm gonna break down a riff I wrote recently. Hmm. Riff I wrote recently. There's no other way to say it, guys. Damn, these Cadbury cream eggs are the bomb. Anyways, stick around. We're gonna learn how to play this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna walk through this kind of at like half speed and then afterwards we'll go through it really slowly and discuss all the notes, what fingering to use and the techniques that are involved. So here we go with the slow speed. <laughs> That's the first half. The second half is like this. It's just all alternate pick, this part. So this is basically all played in the framework of an A minor uh, sequence, although my this guitar is tuned down to drop C sharp or something. But basically you can play it <laughs> in any tuning you want using the framework of an A minor scale shape, okay? A lot of the licks that I write begin with these pedal tones, so I'm always bouncing off one either the E or the A strings primarily. So it's three hits, three palm mutes down, and then I begin the sequence. So it's... Okay? And then we're starting with these couple of notes here. So it's with that nice slide down from uh, nine to five. Okay, so it's then it's open string, then slide up five to seven. So so far we have. Now you'll notice that I slide down on my first finger but I'm sliding up those two frets on my middle finger, which kind of sets me up for the next couple of notes. So I'm quickly switching fingers here on this, on this fifth fret. So it's... Okay. Then one more open string, um, D string again. So it's D, then it's nine, eight, se uh, excuse me, uh, D string open, then it's seven, six, five, three, on the A string. So, so far we have this. Then that's gonna start over again. So this time I'm only sliding down two frets to set from nine to seven. Then I'm going open D string and then I'm hammering on the fifth fret. Okay, so it... So I'm doing that counterpoint thing where I'm bouncing between this note here, this A note on the D string. So I'm sliding up and then I'm going... to hit the octave. So again, that whole part is... All right, so starting at the beginning again, we'll get up to this point where we're, where we're at right now. Okay. 
Then this next uh, little section is the same as the first part. <laughs> The fourth piece is a little different, it's this. So it's like that second piece where we slide from nine to seven, but then I'm just going up in increments, um, up the scale basically on the D string here. So I'm sliding, one hammer on, and then two more slides. Then we land on the A note there at the 12th fret. So, so far, this is everything up to that point. If you're still with me, we're going to move on to part two, which is, you know, the next little piece, which is a little bit different. So basically, I'm using pretty much part of an A minor uh, chord here with these two fingers. Middle finger on the D string, 10th fret. First finger on the 9th fret, um, G string. And then they've got the, some open strings along with it. Now this part is all alternate picked, so you're just doing... Um, <laughs> Excuse me, you're doing triplets on these on these four middle strings. So you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's kind of a good this even this little piece right here is a very good um, practice piece if you if you're trying to get into that cross picking thing, you know, where you're kind of alternate picking while you're changing strings. It's a little bit difficult for me to play still, but uh, I like to write things that are you know challenging for myself. So if it was sloppy in the intro, um, sorry, you know, I suck. <laughs> So obviously when I get to each next string, I begin the triplets in the other direction. So if I'm going down on the first string, I'm starting up on the next string, down on the following string, and so on and so forth. So that's what kind of trips you up if you're not very familiar with the cross-picking technique. Uh, for those of you that can down-pick really fast, you might want to just down-pick this entire thing. You're welcome to do that too. I can't play it as fast as I do, uh, alternate pick, so you know, but uh, down-picking would look like this. Okay, and then once you get to that last note there, then we're going to slide down to this shape here, which is basically um, an F uh, power chord. So it's still palm muting. Then the hit the open string or hit the an open note there and slide it down to the second fret and then back to some palm muting here on the A string now that's a little funky a little wonky right there um, going up A B C right but then I'm gonna, I have to reach for this note, well, I'm in a drop tuning, but if you're not in a drop tuning, you would put your first finger on the third fret. I'm using my pinky on the fifth fret to get the same note. So that couple of notes here is right, is right here. Okay, and again, this is still completely alternate picked, up, down, up, down, up, down, and so forth. And then the last couple of notes, I'm gonna hit a, uh, a D open, open string, hammer on the fifth, fret, slide up to the seventh, and finally an upstroke on the open B string. So that's going to be for a nice little dissonance to kind of finish out that sequence. So that part goes like this. Okay, then we begin again up here with this funky little chord, this two note chord. And this time it changes a little bit. We slide back to the same part. Then it's a couple different notes. So I'm kind of going, I'm doing this shape here. So ring finger, D string, pinky on the B string. 
Sure, go ahead. Those last two notes are open. Then I'm jumping back down here, starting on the B note. Okay, so I'm going. And the last bit of it is. So I'm going up, down, slide. Slide again. And one last slide with the ring finger on the other on the D string. Okay, so the entire second half of this whole lick is this. That's it. So there's some funky stuff in there, right? There's some sliding, ascending slides, descending slides. There's a couple of hammer-ons. There's a, a little short vibrato here and there. And, you know, put your own flavor on it, too. Put your spin on it. Like I said before, if you prefer to do all down picking, which I can't do very well and I kind of can't stand the way it feels because it just makes my wrist hurt. I don't practice it enough. Um, go ahead and do all down picks if you like that. Um, also, likewise, I would say if this is relatively easy for you, if you're kind of, you know, upper intermediate or, you know, advanced player, you're not watching my videos anyways, but, um, if you just want to play around with it, throw it in a different key, use some slightly different patterns. Now you'll notice I do a lot of this kind of thing too in my, both in my rhythms and my leads. I do a lot of this kind of, uh, framework. <laughs> which I got from uh, John Petrucci's, uh, I don't know, Hot Licks video like 30 years ago. It's one of the things that he kind of, you know, developed or uses frequently, I should say. And so I just learned how to throw that into my plane early on. So nowadays I just reach for it. It's a good way to get around the neck quickly without actually have to pick up, you know, having to pick up your hands and, and place them somewhere else rapidly. You kind of can slide your way into a different region of the neck easily, which gives you more, you know, more notes under your fingertips, just, you know, a lot quicker. So the entire sequence, nice and slow, play along if you can with the entire thing or try to as best as you can. And basically it's not a race to see how fast you can play it. I like to play it relatively quickly, but again, it's most important to understand and get a good feel of what finger goes where in whatever your phrase you're playing, you know, this or whatever you write. Um, and use that pinky, man. Don't leave that pinky out. You gotta get him stronger. So use it or lose it, right? Here we go, nice and slow. That's it. Maybe let's try to run through it one more time really quickly. If we can, get her done. <laughs> Of course, I screwed up the last couple of notes. Okay, so to wrap this up, I just want to explain that this is a rehash or a reboot of an old series of mine, formerly known as Licks to Stay Limber. Uh, it didn't perform so well on YouTube, so I decided to rename it 
how the hell did he play that? And basically what it's going to be is each week I'm going to break down a new riff or lick of my own creation, something that I wrote and share it with you guys. And they're not going to be overly challenging or overly difficult, but I do like to mix different techniques in the stuff that I write. So you're going to see there's a lot of, there's going to be bends and slides, pinch harmonics, all sorts of different stuff. Uh, cool stuff to kind of get you loose and limber, something, something new for you to practice, even if it's just an exercise for you or if it's really basic for you, just something to warm up with. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, this is the first in the series, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Much love. Talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See ya!